Hi Megha, how are you? Hi Kitika, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you. And thank you so much for speaking with us on You're Not Alone Conversations. I'm really glad to be here. Um, so how has it been for you with the lockdown? Um, well, it's been a whole range um, of feelings and things going on from um, good to bad. So yeah. it's, it's, been a, it's been a mixed bag in that sense. So you're a psychologist and um, you yeah. must be getting a lot of frantic calls from a lot of your clients because of the crisis and the lockdown. Yeah. So how's yeah. that been for you? Yeah, so, um, so uh, yes, I have been getting calls and uh, in that sense, work's been quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, the number of sessions, of course, I'm, everything is now online, but um, and that takes its own toll because looking at a screen all the time in itself is taxing of course, yeah. rather than meeting a person and talking to them one-on-one. -on -one. So right. yeah, that and, um, and the sheer number of uh, messages and calls sometimes does get overwhelming that, I mean, I want to be there for people and um, want to be present and want to help them. But at the same time, also need to see that um, it's taking a toll on me so that that balance is, does get a bit difficult sometimes. I'm sure. And also, I don't know how, how are you dealing with the fact that, you know, like a lot of people are coming and uh, talking to you about their problems. But I know as a yeah. psychologist right now, you don't have that vent where you can go and speak to one of your colleagues about all these problems as well. Right. So how's yeah. that been? Yeah. How have you been able to balance that? Yeah, so that uh, that does uh, make it more difficult sometimes because the usual support system is not available. Right. Uh, but uh, I think uh, very sweet and nice reminders from other fellow therapists mm -hmm. and from some friends have been around uh, her, uh, us telling each other and them reminding me of my own humanness uh, and that I just need to be present to others and need to show up for others more right. than really trying to be my productive best or trying to uh, give my best at all the time at this point in time. Of course. So that yeah. reminder has been helping. Oh, wow. I, I think that's a really sweet thing. I think supporting each other during this time is one of the most crucial things that we need to do. Yes. Yes. And yes. Has that impacted being at home at all? Because I know you have a four-year-old son as well. Like, has... It's been easy to deal with all the calls and clients and also uh, be there for him at this time. It, it does. Um, I am getting to spend a whole lot of more time with him, but it does get more exhausting right. to, um, to take care of all of those things. And like I earlier said, because the support system of um, the ways in which I, I usually unwind as well as other kind of support system to take care of my child and, other things available are, are not there at this point in time. So, and plus all the negative news uh, constantly, our own fears related to what's going to happen next. I think everything combined together becomes very exhausting. Right. Not just for me, I think that's, that's true for uh, almost everybody. I'm hearing that from so many of my clients as well yeah. about uh, mm -hmm. exhaustion and anxiety right. and about a sense of, sense of grieving that we're all feeling as well. Um, related to the world situation, a, a sense of sadness and despair that we feel about, about what's going on around. Us. And also not knowing when this will all end. I think that's playing on all of our minds so much. Yes, that's, that's the uncertainty, yes. And that, uh, that does lead to more anxiety. But like you said earlier, I think we just have to be there for each other and you know, even if we can't give a hundred percent, just being there and supporting each other is so required yes. right now. But absolutely, I think this is. Uh, I'm I'm looking at this one of at this as one of our biggest lessons in our shared humanity. Very true. That that we are all in this together. Very true. Uh, yeah, and just we just need to be more kind to our own selves, uh, and considerate to our own selves as well as to others, as well as for others. Of course, no matter what our professions are, we just have to do this. And uh, yeah. for those who are watching us, I hope all of you know that you're not alone in what you're going through. There are people yeah. like Megha who are there to help you. And there are apps out there like Xpot 
where you can go and vent as well. So please utilize the resources that are there. Please call up a psychologist or a psychotherapist or please log into one of the wellness apps and just don't internalize the problems. Please express it and put it out there. Uh, but Megha, thank you so much, not just for this call, but also for all that you're doing right now, for everyone out there who is anxious and stressed and for being there for people um, in your professional capacity and also your personal, I'm sure you're doing that. But uh, on that note, thank you everyone and thank you so much, Megha, and stay safe. Thank you. I'm, I'm really honored. And the only thing I would want to tell all of you is that be kind and gentle to your own selves. This is a tough time for all of us. And just keep giving yourself that reminder. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Megha. Talk soon. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.